How does this all well, start? Getting to that. Okay. And uh, the way I discovered the bones was after I bought the property. Uh, there was a a stripping pile done by a, an adjacent miner that was dumping overburden on this on these flat tailings, and I had a tour guide, and I a big guy. I said, Josh, run over there and find me a mammoth tusk. I'd never found a mammoth tusk, but I'd heard they were finding them over there. And the ground they were dumping on was on my ground. So he he went and he, he says, what do they look like? I said, well, they're, they look like tree trunks, only they got a curve to them. So he went, he was gone half an hour, he comes back with a seven-foot tusk over his shoulder. I went, holy shit. I said, go get me another one. He went and came back an hour later with another one about three feet long, a broken one. So I walked over there to look at this area where the mining was going to take place. And they ended up mining it. And they had a right to mine it. The company took out about 3,000 ounces out of this one little area. And I was like, God damn, this stuff stinks. So one day we were walking around the area after they had mined it, moved on to another place. And we followed the smell. We walked around the side of this hill and we got up in this little draw and we were picking, my kids were with me too. We were picking bones off the, off the ground, little shards, little leg bones and stuff. So we filled up a garbage bag with those. We went back again and again and again. And then I took an excavator back, built a little road around the side. So we get back to it with a machine, took a couple dirt digs out of the muck, found a mammoth tusk. I said, oh boy, let's get something going. So then we got a big floating barge and put a pump on it, 471 Jimmy, with a giant. They're, they're called giants, but they're actually hydraulic monitors. They look like big, long pipes that you spray water out of. And our pump was a 8-inch intake, 6-inch outtake, and we nozzled it down to 2, two inches, 2 and a half inches. We could fire the water way out there and wash the overburden away. And the overburden there is about 60 feet high. It's permafrost, silt. And underneath that, you have your gravel layer. And underneath the gravel, you have the gold and the bedrock. And the uh, gravel layer and the muck interface is where most of the bones are. So we started finding lots of bones. I mean, a lot of bones. And in the first three years, we found thousands and thousands of tusks and bison heads and bones. And by the way, you're, all those skulls you got out there, in your in your building here yeah you ain't got a step bison skull i'm gonna fix that shit <laughs> <laughs> okay okay i'm gonna and then uh i don't even know how many we have we stopped counting and mammoth tusks same thing and when did step bisons go extinct Twelve thousand years ago wow and, and so the permafrost is slowly melting and you're hosing it down and pulling it. So the stench is literally like this ancient, rotting biological material. It stinks. It's, wow. It's organic. But it's been frozen forever. Thousands, 20,000 years, 30,000 years, 50,000. So this 000. is uh, you with the hose spraying it onto the side of this wall. So yeah. the way you do it is you just spray the side of these, like what would you call that hill? It's a muck bench. A muck bench. Yes, sir. So you spray that until you see something poking through? Yes, sir. Well, you spray it, and then you walk up there, and you turn the nozzle off the side, and you'll pick up the bones, the little pieces, leg bones, back bones. Uh, Why is there brain. so much in this one area? Nobody knows. Really? Nobody. Well, that's what's so crazy. Like, when I watched the documentary on your place, uh -huh. when uh, you, you show this uh, giant room where you have all these buckets of femurs and skulls and tusks and and you have those paleontologists who are just like they can't even believe what they're seeing yeah that's because a lot of those animals they say never lived up there during the ice age so when they see it and they still think that i just say well they sure as fuck died here Duh. <laughs> <laughs> go, so that's, that's, it's changing their ideas of what existed in that area Yes, sir. Wow. And what's the oldest bones that you guys have found? We don't know. 
we've we've sampled maybe four or five of them. It costs four hundred bucks a sample. Do a carbon fourteen test on them. If I was to sample my entire collection today, it cost a hundred million dollars. Mm. Because we have a, close to a quarter million fossils now. The whole place is crazy. I mean, it's it's so hard to believe that this one area has so many bones. Is there? They have no idea of like did these animals fall into a muck pit? Was it? Why are they there? They don't know. No. Because there's so many of them, and we're talking bones. We're not even talking fossils. Right. Right. Because they froze, right. which is very very unusual. Right. The 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 uh, documentary you saw that Dick Mole, uh, mm -hmm. paleontologist. What an unfortunate name, by the way. <laughs> Dick Mole. You know, I see what you're saying there. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> yeah, he uh, he's one of the good ones. You know, he's he uh, he came up and spent a few days with us with the filmmaker that made that film. By the way, the filmmaker is a artist pure, just through and through. And I met him when he was working for Net National Geographic. And then he came to me and he says, hey, I'd like to document, make a documentary about the Boneyard. So I gave him unfettered access for four years. He said, do what you got to do. Just stay out of our way. Don't make me worry about finding you under a muck bench or a tree falling on you. Just go do your thing. So he did. And uh, the stuff that you're seeing there and you saw in that uh, video that you watched, the documentary, it's like nobody knows why any of that stuff is there. Is that the most unusual site that they've ever discovered in terms of just the sheer quantity of bones? Yes. Wow. And you just found it by accident. Yeah. 